happen to be the homeowner, on top of which I'm unemployed. What can I do for you? It's Kylie about? Who shall I say is asking? My sweet. One small mistake, one slip of the finger. I offered you your old job back and you said no. One slip of the finger. Right, can you give this to Kylie? Is that a rotor? No, it's the Elgin marbles. Well, I'd rather not touch it. You can give it to yourself. One tiny little mistake. I could sell olives for the next 30 years and I still wouldn't get rid of them. This isn't about the olives. No, it isn't about the olives. So quit while you're ahead. Kylie, your boss is here to see you. You know, you're never suited to waitressing or bar work. Cleaning, fine. You're a natural. You were never suited to Leanne Battersby, but did I complain? Violently. All right, come on, touch gloves. So what I want to know is who's going to pick up the pieces when it all goes wrong, eh? When he suddenly finds himself single again, when he's understaffed and struggling, whose shoulder will he cry on? Well, not yours, hopefully. Did he go in all right? Yeah, fine. He fell off this in the playground, oh. but other than that, he's all right. Oh, is that my brother? You know, let me know if you want to change anything. Mm. David, Kylie. See ya. Unbelievable. Well, Mum, come on. You did order eight million olives and refused to go to the bloke's wedding. He sacked his own mother. Case closed. What do you think? Suitable? I don't think you're allowed in there, you know. It's, it's not a courtroom. There's no gallery or anything. Well, even if I'm waiting in the corridor, they might see me. They might realise we're respectable people. Mum, can I talk to you? Why? What's the matter? There's something I want you to know before I go in there this afternoon. I did kiss Sophie. Willingly. <laughs> what? I'd fallen for her. She knew how I felt. She'd read all the signals and she knew. Mum, I'm gay. Since when? <laughs> because of Sophie Webster? Oh, since before Sophie. Since pretty much forever. She's... she's confused you. She's put ideas in your head. So you got close to a patient, that's one thing, and you shouldn't have. But just because she's gay and you like she her... She isn't the first girl that I've kissed. What? Is that really such a shock to you? Jenna, you're not gay. I've slept with three women. No men. You've slept with women. Oh, Mandy, come on. I have lied for long enough to everyone. Sophie offered to go into that hearing, say she made it so all... So let her! Bite her hand off! Jenna, stick to the story. She made a pass at you and you backed off. But I didn't. Who cares? I care! That is what I'm trying to tell you. Before I have to go into a room full of people and, and lie to them as well. Only one thing matters right at this moment. And it's your job. The one thing that you've worked and worked and worked for. I'm telling you something more important. Which I refuse to believe. <sighs> Jenna's being as honest as she... Lloyd, with all due respect, she's been your daughter ten minutes. This is not your concern. Fine. I have wanted to tell you for so long. So why didn't you? Because I was scared. Of what? Of this. Of you. Of Dad. Of, of the fact that you just deny it. Your refusal to believe me. The, the attitude. The face. Well... Good luck with the hearing. By the sounds of things, you're gonna need it. And if you've got any sense, you'll lie. And you'll keep on lying. <sighs> what is it? It's Steve's petition for divorce. <laughs> How dare he? He's saying that I'm the reason. Oh, the truth of it. Let me see. What have I ever done to him? Irretrievable breakdown owing to... Unreasonable behaviour. I know! Unreasonable behaviour, me. I mean, what grounds has he got? Oh, let's make a list. Oh, can lay off. Oh. Can't you see she's upset? Oh, what was she expecting? Support from her parents, maybe? <sighs> Lies and deceit relating oh, to... Oh, I'm her... going for a bath. Wish I had a pound for every time I turned to page 16. Is it yielding? What's a decal fitter? It's a salt line operative. What happened to the world, aren't you? Isn't it something to do with signs and signage, decal fitter? Anyway, it's not really your territory. Well, here we are. Cleaner. Macclesfield. More like it. Now, I'm sure God has something more exotic in mind for you. Well, I've always liked to travel. Gail. Just the person. Down to the last clue on this morning's crossword. A bespectacled character in On the Bosses. Olive. No, thank you. <laughs>
It was a, it was a computer error, actually. Jason went in for a pizza yesterday. Said he couldn't see the cheese. OK, so you know about the olives. Congratulations. I'm sure you're delighted. Uh, I'll have a donut and a cup of tea to take away, please, Roy. So... I hate this place. <laughs> I hate everything about it. You know, it's not so bad. You've got class, that's your problem. Everything around here is beneath you. As long as you've got a thick skin, you'll be OK. <laughs> is that the best I can hope for? Let's eat out later, huh? We're going to town? What do you fancy? Italian. Is she gone? Look, this might be none of my business, but... Um... She loses her job, her career's up in smoke. Do you have any idea how hard she's worked? All the sacrifices she made. Staying in while her friends are out clubbing. Sitting up at her desk all night, studying. Look, maybe it'll all work out, OK? Whatever happened, whatever Sophie put in her mind, all she has to do is lie. And she's out of the woods. Look, they must know she's a decent kid. Why don't we go and find her, and we'll wait with her before she goes in? Stupid, stupid girl. She needs you, man. No, she doesn't. She never has. Why didn't she come to me? You took it badly. She, she's hurt. She couldn't talk to me. If she'd been honest in the first place. Instead, she waits till now when she's mixed up in all this. An 18-year-old patient. A, a disciplinary hearing. I mean, did, did you have any idea? She told me last night. She told you before me. Look, whatever she's going through right now, it's going to be a damn sight harder without us by her side. And I don't just mean the hearing. I mean, what she's done today, I think it's really, really brave, really difficult. What she needs now is love. She doesn't want me there. If she did, she would have told me the truth a long time ago. Did you put the school in the picture, love? Yeah, they told all the teachers and the dinner staff. I think you'll keep away. Based on what? No, based on nothing, you know, just a hunch. What? What did you say to him? When? When you followed him out. Did you threaten him? I had a quiet word, that's all. How quiet? Well, put it this way, I think he got the message. Did you hurt him? I ruffled his feathers, that's all. Good. And then she said, he sacked his mother, case closed. Well, we don't grow in the ground, David. I mean, life would be so much simpler if we did. I tell you, if she could resign from this family, she would do. <laughs> it wouldn't. Uh, could, you, could you answer that phone, Maria, please? She's only happy if she's got something to moan about. Oh, now, that isn't fair. Come on, she loves him. I mean, what if you ever fell out with Max or the little one when it oh, arrives? Geez. Well, I wouldn't let that happen. Well, you say that. You mightn't have a choice. Yep. She carried Nick for nine months, remember? I mean, he was her blue okay, so eye boy. Then people grow up, away. and then they make decisions that you don't necessarily okay, approve of. No, I can't stand it. There's always an atmosphere. Yeah, well, that's your mother for you. You can talk. You hate her. I don't hate her. Well, you disowned her, then. I didn't disown her. What did I just say? I don't know. Your children sometimes make decisions that you don't approve of. I carried Gail, remember? I still love her. Of course I do. It's just that she drives me mad. Well, whatever it is, the one that red's banging together. Yes, well, bickering isn't going to do any good, is it? What we've got to do is uh, get them together with a drink in their hands, let them speak their minds. I mean, we'll referee if necessary, just to broker peace, anything. Right, we could even sit down, have little flags and headphones on. <laughs> yes, I mean, it should be an <laughs> exciting time. I mean, there's a little one on the way. She shouldn't be moping and sniping at him. Sacking your own mum, though? You've done worse. I see you've got a visitor. Oh, what does he want? Can you see how Amy got on with the science homework? What science homework? The uh, thingy yesterday, you know, with the mag magnets. You've come to gloat. Sorry? I am not signing. Why that? Because I've done nothing wrong. I was prepared to see it through. You're the one who strayed, Steve, skulking around like an alley cat while I was pregnant with our babies. I don't see how that tallies. I never touched another woman while we were together. Do you want a sandwich, Steve? Ma'am? Uh, no, thanks. I am the one with grounds for divorce, not you. You lied about miscarrying my kids. You slept with Michelle when we were still married. You are the adulteress, Steve. 
listen. Irretrievable breakdown of a marriage. It's retrievable. It always has been. I'm up for it if you are. I have been all along. Let's go upstairs now if you don't believe me. Tracy! I'm serious, ma'am. Whatever Steve's done, I forgive him. Just say the word, Steve. We'll retrieve it. If you can tear yourself away from that poisonous, home-wrecking cow. Amy completed her homework and made sure she gave it to her school teacher first thing this morning. Great. Thanks, Ken. Oh, well, aren't you two just brilliant? I'll give you to the end of the day. If not, I'll get in touch with my solicitor, see what he says. I won't take this line down. Well, at least the ball's in play. She didn't get out as long as you like. I doubt we'll ever live happily ever after. Ken? Steve? Deirdre? Well, thank you for sticking up for me. It, isn't she? Oh, she's shocked. Trying to take it all in. I don't know what to say in there. I don't know what to do. Well, you know, you got a good job. You worked hard for it. You did something daft. Do they really need to know? Will it really be worth it? Maybe not. Whatever you decide, I'll support you, baby. Jenna, I'm ready for you now. to clear the air. Hmm? Me and you? Yes, me and you and David and Nick, but Nick mainly. Or he could just say sorry. What for exactly? It was a technical error. There must be something wrong with the numbers on his keyboard. I'm not a complete idiot. I know how many jars of olives I ordered. Look, this isn't about the olives, Gail. I know it isn't. You can't stand his wife. I don't trust his wife. You didn't even have it in you to go to his wedding. I did have it in me. I did attend the wedding. But she stopped off at Peter Barlow's on the way. Oh, get you know which wedding I mean. She lost my trust on Christmas Day. OK. Well, are you coming for a drink or not? Well, I suppose I can spare ten minutes. OK, fine. See you in the Rovers, half past three. Can't have a drink. I mean, it doesn't matter what you actually drink, that's not the point. Who exactly is going to be there? Me, you, Gran and Mum. And for why? Well, Gran doesn't like seeing you fighting. She's barely spoken to her for weeks. Yeah, well, that's different, isn't it? Why is it different? Because they're all women. I mean, you know what all women are like. But anyway, you're a bloke. You're supposed to rise above it. Olive? No, thanks. She didn't come to my wedding. So where do we go from here? Because if it's a choice between my mum or my wife... But no-one's asking you to choose, all right? And you got over that. Besides, she still works here before you sacked her. Well, well, I didn't sack her. I demoted her. And she threw it back in my face. Have you seen the state of that stockroom? She's a liability. Oh, I only gave her a job here out of pity. Even when she's cleaning, she misses bits. Leanne has to go round after her. Really? Does she? No. No. She's brilliant clean. Yeah. So are you going to agree to that drink then, or what? OK, well, uh, as long as it's here. Oh, no, come on, that's an unfair advantage. It's not a mafia sit-down. Well, what about the Rovers? You'd be all right here. Make sure you're packing heat. OK. Rovers it is. About half three, yeah? Yeah, whatever. Well? I told the truth. How could I stand there and deny it? I was all set to lie and say everything that Mum told me to, but then I thought of Sophie and... I just felt like such a fraud. I had enough of lying, Lloyd. Ah, well. Good for you. I've got to wait until they make the decision. Well, Ian, he's ringing social services, seeing if he can get access to Ruby. We'll find out Kirsty's lying. Oh, you're very confident, aren't you? You know, if someone told me you'd beating your wife up, I wouldn't believe them. Well, thank you very much. Right, do you want to know why? Uh, because I don't have a wife. Because I feel that I know you better. Well, all right, then. In my case, you'll be right. But, I, I mean, take your little flame-haired friend here. Her husband was up to all sorts, and did she have a clue? Well, well, probably she did, yes, actually. That's a very bad example. Hey, listen. John, 
was complicated. Tyrone's simple. Yes, well, I won't dispute either of those comments. But the facts remain. You and Tyrone were caught out in that church. You were caught red-handed. And if he was lying then, why should we believe him now? Can you believe the stuff he's done? Compulsively checking her phone, no. making sure she's not texting other blokes, when all the time he was texting her. Behind Kirsty's back. And where have you got all this from, eh? Excuse me. I am speaking to Norris. Yeah. He's driven her parents away. He's threatened to take root. But listen, love. They're calling it a sustained catalogue of abuse. Right, and there'll be another one if you don't shut your mouth. You see, here, there's another one. Is he threatened to take the child? And he should have done it. The woman's a monster. <laughs> Defending wife beaters. I mean... Come on, Tina. Let's go somewhere more private. How come you never told her? I mean, when you're genuinely that scared. Don't know how much trade in. Hey, that was Johnny. And he was all bluster. He'd have come around after he'd blown a gasket or two. Realised it was the same old Jenna. And so will she. She'll come round by tea time. She loves you more than anything on earth. Oh, that's no excuse. It must be hard for her. Surely you can see that. Yeah, not as hard as it is for me. Any of your friends know? Some of them. Some of them always suspected. I've heard the rumours going round, but... Never really talked to anyone about it. At all. Apart from you. This is the most I've ever said to anyone on the biggest subject of my life. How mad is that? I am honoured. <laughs> Jenna, would you like to come back in now? Alrighty. Good luck. Thank you. Hai degli occhi bellissimi. Hai degli occhi bellissimi. A che ora è l'ultimo treno? 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 Hello, Angel. Did anybody see you? No. Is anyone in? No. Oh. What can I get you? Tea? Coffee? Me? Well, I'd love a tea. Oh, you. Followed by a biscuit. Mmm, keep talking. Followed by you. Mm. What have you been watching? Oh, no! No! No, what? don't look at that! Italian for lovers? Ah, oh, found it in the pound shop. Couldn't resist it. I got a phone call this morning. They've approved the loan. I can get the money in days. I told you, keep your money where it is. This was nothing but a dream. No, but it doesn't have to be. I could take you on a mini break. We could go to Venice, Naples, Rome. No, it wouldn't be enough. You wouldn't leave your family. You just wouldn't do it. So please stop leading me on, huh? I mean, Italian for lovers, it's more than I can take. I've got to meet my mum in the pub. David and Nick. Well, what's the rush? A che ora è l'ultimo treno? Um, when's the last train home? Uh, no. Uh, hai dei nocchi bellissimi. Ah, oh, grazie. Ma non belli quanto i tuoi. What does that mean? It means, but not as beautiful as yours. Uh, no, it's so typical, though. Then you definitely told her half past three. Do you think she's got any intention of coming? She might have dropped off in front of the telly. No, she thinks she's in trouble. She thinks we're going to attack her as soon as she walks through that door. I'm not re-employing her. Well, she's probably sat there grinning and pulling faces at her. Well, frankly, I've waited long enough. If Gail won't come to the mountain, then the mountain will have to go to Gail. Me being the mountain. What about a drink? She's got two minutes. Are you sure he hasn't phoned? He hasn't rung all day. You're chuffed about that, aren't you? Yeah, well, what does it tell you? Uh, what are you doing? Going on the school website. No, you're not. I've got to. Mrs Dawkins uploaded this week's RE homework and the class photos are on it. No, sorry, darling. You're not going on the internet. Mum, it's schoolwork. You can sit here and watch me if you like. Schools have managed for hundreds of years without this blasted thing. They can manage for another couple. You banning me from using the cleverest invention of all time? Uh, I think you'll find that that's the wheel. If the wheel's so clever, who invented it? Don't be argumentative. Who invented the internet? You don't know that? He's called Tim. Same as my dad. He was on the Olympics. He said the internet's for everyone. 
Yeah, well, it's not, OK? It's not for you. Because you live here with me. And I'm going to do everything in my power fade to make sure that you're fed and safe and clothed and loved. How do you know he doesn't love me? Because he wasn't there for you, was he? He wasn't there when it mattered. It wasn't his fault. He's here for me now. Yeah, well, I'm here for you now, me. So, you know what? I'm putting this flaming thing away. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Where's Amy? Oh, she's practising the recorder. Have a listen. <clears throat> Isn't that a horrible instrument? Mum! <laughs> I think there's something quite charming about it. Um, what happened to that old paper shredder that you had? The shredder? It was in the attic. Why? I'm just wondering. I kept getting jammed. He cut his hand on it once quite badly. Yeah, I wrote this article for the Gazette and I was edited beyond recognition. You should have seen him shoving ten pages at a time and he got his thumb caught in the teeth. Yeah, it isn't funny. Don't shred it, love. Sign it. What were they expecting? An apology? Yeah, that chance. After Christmas Day, I'm not surprised you're a little wary. I mean, is it a crime? Imagine them sat in their little booth, getting all hot under the collar. Like a lynch mob on a tea break. <laughs> <laughs> Let them eat cake. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> um, I want to catch the train to Florence. I want to sleep in till lunchtime. I want to stroll along the Ponte Vecchio, whispering sweet Nianti's in your ear. Ti amo. Coronation Street's back in half an hour.